everyone in previous lecture i explained about the condition for biting of strip by rolls and one example for it now in today's lecture i will explain about the roll passes and the friction in rolls and before that there is one empirical relation for calculating rolling load now in previous lecture i discussed about the how to uh, calculate the load using formula and the condition for biting and we took one example and which we determined the coefficient uh, determined the angle of bite and final strip thickness now uh, there is one empirical formula for calculating rolling load an approximate expression for total load acting on rolls per unit width that gives value reasonably close to the those given by exact analysis as given by here p by w is equal to 2 sigma divided by root 3 into 1 plus ml by 4h into l this is one approximate expression for calculating the total load acting on the rolls per unit width this is load per unit width p by w and that gives the value reasonably close to those by exact analysis sorry now where p capital p is the total load acting on rolls here the capital p is the total load acting on it while w is the width of strip sigma is the flow stress of the work material then there is m which is friction shear for a uh, friction shear factor whose value is given in this table this m is friction shear factor and the value are given for different condition the first condition is cold forming of steels and aluminum alloys and copper using oils or lubricants the value of friction shear factor is this is the friction shear factor which is m now the value is from 0.015 to 0.05 this is for cold forming of steels and aluminum alloys while and copper another condition is hot forming of steel aluminum alloy and copper alloy using graphite base this is 0.2 to 0.4 then there is hot forming of titanium and high temperature alloys with glass lubricants hot forming of titanium and high temperature alloy and th that value is 0.1 to 0. Three. So these are the various values for the friction shear factor. Now the next topic is roll passes. Now uh, production of finished rolled products like bars or we can say the flat products such as. Uh, these are the rectangular types flat product we have to produce or another round sections then various types of channels sections we have to suppose produced from the billet or slab these are basically produced from the billets or slabs slabs are a rectangular type in this section while billet is in cross section they are rectang uh, square and uh, square or maybe rectangular so they involves number of steps and processes while they are converted to final product well the plates sheets and strips are produced by the rolling between the smooth cylindrical and slightly cambered rolls the um, rolls for plates and sheets they are very smooth and they are uh, very much cambered uh, slightly cambered 
because they can provide complete uh, rolling of that and press it completely so in that way, that way they will be produced from the plate seats and strips by rolling and the bars or rods or sections need rolls with corresponding grooves in cut जो बार्स और रोड प्रोड्यूस करेंगे जो उसका रोलर है ठीक है उसका अगर फ्रंट व्यू इधर ये साइड साइड व्यू है ठीक है फ्रंट से अगर देखेंगे तो उसके अंदर यहाँ पे ग्रूव्स होंगे इन द रोलर्स देर विल बी ग्रूव इन द रोलर सो दैट द पार्ट कैन बी रोल्ड इजीली here you can see there is a groove in it so this between this groove it will be passing and the rolling will be done and the work material needs to pass many time between different roll before it attains the final shape jo final shape se pehle usko various phases mein se पास होना पड़ेगा ठीक है सिंगल पास में वो रोल नहीं होगा बिकॉज ऑफ लिमिटेशन इन द इक्विपमेंट एंड द वर्केबिलिटी ऑफ द मेटल मोस्ट कॉमर्शियल शेप लाइक आई सेक्शन एंड आई सेप बीम चैनल्स एंड रेल्स नीड टू एट टू टेन स्टेप्स इन रोलिंग दे रिक्वायर एट टू टेन स्टेप्स फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग आई सेक्शन और एनी चैनल टाइप ऑफ सेक्शन और एनी रेल टाइप ऑफ सेक्शन फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट इट रिक्वायर्स एट टू टेन फेजेस और स्टेप्स एंड फ्रॉम प्रोड्यूसिंग ब्लूम एंड डिजाइनिंग रोल पासिस सीक्वेंस इज फेयरली कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कॉल्स फॉर गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द मेटल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स and deformation required and possible at each step the designation roll passes sequence is very complex for that complete uh, understanding of metal characteristics is required and how the deformation takes place is very much important to know now metal must be able to take the desired shape at each stage without causing any defect aur jo each shape ke andar uska jo metal hai उस वो डिजायर्ड शेप फॉर्म करना चाहिए विदाउट कॉजिंग एनी डिफेक्ट्स डिफेक्ट्स नहीं आनी चाहिए नाउ हियर इन दिस फिगर देर आर टोटल 15 स्टेप्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिड्यूस दिस 100 बाय 100 एम एम स्क्वेर बिलेट इन टू दिस ट्वेंटी एम एम डायमीटर राउंड बार From billet square billet to round bar, it takes total fifteen step. First, it will be rolled in this two, and then it will be rotated to ninety degree. Then again, it will be rolled. Again, it will be rolled. Similarly, step by step, it will be rolled, and finally, we will get the round section. so this is the stage in reducing a 100 mm square billet to 20 mm diameter bar so this is how the roll passes process works for reducing and or making any section now let us discuss the next topic which is the effect of front tension and back tension in rolling now as we know that in rolling when the roll passes through the die there will be front tension and there will be back tension there will be tension in both side there will be sigma back tension and sigma front tension will be acting on it and we have to consider this effect of this front tension and back tension in rolling and in rolling uh, is sometime carried out with front and back tension as we mentioned this in earlier theory as well analysis of rolling the presence of this tension 
कैन कंसिडरेबली रिड्यूस द रोल फोर्स और जो हमारा रोल फोर्स लग रहा होगा ठीक है रोलिंग के लिए उसको ये कंसिडरेबली रिड्यूस कर सकता है विच लीड्स टू रिडक्शन इन वियर ऑफ रोल्स जिससे ये वियर है वो रोल का कम होगा एंड यहाँ पे जो रोल फोर्स है वो यहाँ पे अप्लाई होगा जो रोटेटिंग फोर्स है ठीक है द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रंट टेंशन एंड बैक टेंशन हियर इट इज शोन इन द ऑन रोल प्रेशर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज शोन इन द फिगर हियर एज द रोल प्रेशर चेंजेस फ्रॉम द एंट्री टू द एग्जिट द फ्रंट टेंशन बिकम्स हियर इट गेट्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग and we will get the maximum roll pressure and then we will get the minimum roll pressure so this is one case as we discussed in the previous the there is here rolling process and in rolling process here there is one entry point this is the entry and this is the exit point and this is the length of contact this is the length of contact this length of contact and this portion is denoted over this graph and this at the center point we will get this maximum roll pressure the pressure will, will be maximum at this point now the pressure of the both front and back tension reduces the area under the pressure curve and hence the रोलिंग लोड एंड रोल वियर सो जो फ्रंट टेंशन है दैट विल बी डिनोटेड बाय दिस एंड द बैक टेंशन विल बी डिनोटेड बाय दिस लाइन सो वी विल कंबाइन बोथ एंड वी कैन से दिस ग्राफ विल बी रिड्यूस्ड टू दिस सो इनिशियली अवर ग्राफ इज विदाउट कंसिडरिंग फ्रंट एंड बैक टेंशन दैट इज नो टेंशन ग्राफ इट इज फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस and another graph we will get after applying the front and back tension considering front and back tension the area which means roll pressure here it will be reduced from this point to this point jo roll pressure hai wo yahan pe kam ho jayega theek hai so jo rolling roll ka jo wear hai wo yahan pe kam ho jayega back tension along is about twice as effective in reducing the rolling load as front tension aur jo back tension hai wo front tension se twice zyada yahan pe reduce karega the rolling pressure ko as compared to the front tension back tension is twice effective as compared to the front tension in reducing the rolling load when only front tension is applied uh, the natural point shaft toward shifts towards the entry point while if the only back tension is applied the neutral point shifts towards the exit point here if only we consider the front tension here this is our center point and the if we consider only front tension then the graph will be shifted towards the left here we can see this is graph is shifted toward the entry point this will be shifted to our entry point and if only the back tension is considered then it will be shifted to the exit point as we can see from this to this so that will be shifted to the exit point the provision of front and back tension also helps improve the flatness and uniform of sheet thickness across the sheet width और जो फ्रंट टेंशन और बैक टेंशन है उससे वजह उसकी वजह से क्या होगा कि जो फ्लैटनेस और यूनिफॉर्मिटी है वो जो शीट की वो यूनिफॉर्म रहेगी थ्रू आउट द वेट सो दिस इज अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रंट टेंशन एंड बैक टेंशन इन रोलिंग नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इन रोलिंग द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन वर्क पीस एंड रोल इज इफेक्टिव अफेक्ट्स द रोलिंग प्रोसेस इन नंबर ऑफ वेज देर इज अ फ्रिक्शन इन रोल एंड वर्क पीस दिस इज अवर रोलिंग प्रोसेस एंड द फ्रिक्शन विल बी प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर एंड 
over this the mu p will be the friction coefficient this is the roll center and which will be rotating in this direction and this will be rotating in this direction so now the first effect is to the increase in coefficient of friction increases the friction force and roll separating force similarly decrease in mu decreases this force यहाँ पे जो फोर्स है जितना फ्रिक्शन ज़्यादा होगा इतना ये फोर्स यहाँ पे रोल का क्या होगा दैट विल बी इंक्रीज सो एज द म्यू पी दैट इज कोफिशेंट फ्रिक्शन इंक्रीजेज द फोर्स रिक्वायर्ड विल इंक्रीज एज एज वेल एज द रोल सेपरेटिंग फोर्स जो रोल को सेपरेट करना होगा उसके लिए जो फोर्स होगा वो भी ज़्यादा लगेगा देन द सेकेंड इफेक्ट इज इफ द सर्फेस ऑफ द वर्क पीज and that of the roll is smooth friction will reduce leading to lower rolling and roll separating force and longer roll life abhi dusra jo effect ho hai wo kya hai ki agar roll sorry roll agar smooth hai to kya hoga friction will reduce friction reduce hoga aur jo roll ki life hai wo इंक्रीज हो जाएगी तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा रोल लाइफ इंक्रीज होगी तीसरा पॉइंट है विथ इंक्रीज इन कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स द एंट्री पॉइंट जो जैसे हमने आगे वाले ग्राफ में देखा था वाइल डिक्रीजिंग म्यू पी क्या करेगा जो न्यूट्रल पॉइंट है उसको एग्जिट की ओर जो हमने देखा था कि रोल प्रेशर वर्सेस लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट यहाँ पे एंट्री पॉइंट था यहाँ पे एग्जिट पॉइंट था सो so यहाँ पे जैसे ये म्यू पी इंक्रीज होगा तो एंट्री पॉइंट की ओर ग्राफ शिफ्ट होगा अगर म्यू पी डिक्रीज होगा अगर म्यू पी यहाँ पे सॉरी म्यू पी इफ डिक्रीजेस तो यहाँ पे ग्राफ्ट एग्जिट की ओर शिफ्ट होगा अनदर डिफरेंस द फोर्थ नंबर डिफरेंस इज द थियोरेटिकली मैक्सिमम रिडक्शन कैन बी अचीव्ड व्हेन द न्यूट्रल पॉइंट रीचेज द एग्जिट बट सिंस देर इज देर विल बी नो फ्रिक्शन फोर्स टू ड्रॉ द मेटल through the rolls actually the roll will only slip without doing any reduction abhi jo mu humko reduce karna hai agar mu p hum reduce karenge to jo hamara graph tha roll pressure versus jo exit tak ka graph tha wo is direction mein move hoga aur isko humko agar exit tak le jana hai theek hai to uske liye mu p kya karna hoga approximately zero aur friction zero ho jayega तो ये रोल क्या होगा यहाँ पे स्लिप होगा ओवर द मेटल और वहाँ पे रोलिंग होगा नहीं सो दिस आर द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इन रोलिंग नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर वेरियस डिफेक्ट्स इन रोल्ड प्रोडक्ट्स द वेरियस डिफेक्ट्स इन रोल्ड प्रोडक्ट्स द फर्स्ट डिफेक्ट इज व्हिच इज फोल्ड्स फोल्ड्स अकर ड्यूरिंग द प्लेट रोलिंग when the reduction per pass is very small suppose this is these are the our rolls now the reduction is very small so what happens this will turn over here which means this will create one fold or it will fold over in between so reduction if the reduction is small then the fold will be created during the plates of very small thickness it can be over here on upside or it can be over here the downward side the fold will be created if the reduction is per pass is very small another defect is lamination small cracks appears when the reduction in the thickness is quite high jo reduction zyada hoga sab usi ke liye जब रिडक्शन कम होगा तो यहाँ पे स्मॉल क्रैक्स अपीरियर होगी दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एज लेमिनेशन एंड थर्ड डिफेक्ट इज एज क्रैकिंग 
this defect is caused either due to low ductility of the work material or because of uneven deformation near the ends age jo hai theek hai wo yahan pe crack ho gayi suppose yahan pe to wo uska reason kya hoga jo material hai uski ductility kya hai low hai low ductility or due to uneven deformation these are the two causes to uh, cause age cracking and the cracks are caused during the cold rolling in the metal because uh, becomes too much work hardened jo cracks hai wo cold rolling mein zyada hogi jab cold rolling karenge to age cracking ki possibility badh jayengi another defect is fins now the fins are formed on the rolled bar when the metal forces into a space between the rolls and the fins can lead to folds or cracks jo fins hai wo rolled bar jab hum karenge rolling process tab jo metal forces kya karega in between the rolls usko fin ke form mein convert karega aur jo fin hai wo folds ban jayegi ya to fir cracks deform kar sakti hai and the last defect is alligatoring uh alligatoring is the splitting of work piece along the horizontal place now these are the our rolls and in alligatoring what happens the work piece split in two parts as you can see over here this is our slab these are the rollers and the work piece uh, splits in two parts over the horizontal axis so this defects occurs during slab rolling or aluminum rolling aluminum alloy rolling or slab rolling alligatoring occurs so these are the five defects in rolled products uh, ro that has fold lamination age cracking fins and alligatoring so this is the end of today's lecture thank you very much for listening me carefully Have a nice day